Welcome to XM Edge Trick number 1,231. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,230, 1,231, start, or the finished file, click on the link below the video. Wow, we have a, a wild one here. We actually have a lookup situation. There are 36 tables here. And each table represents a particular region and a particular product group. And if you look at this first one here, it says West Freestyle, then West Bellin Group. Those are product groups. If you scroll down, you see West MTA. That's the last product group in this region here. And it starts off with the next region, East Freestyle, East Bellin Group. So there are 36 tables. That is simply amazing. How in the world are we going to be able to get the discount rate from each one of these tables. Now let's go over to the start file. I'm going to control tab. And the trick is, is that each one of these is a transaction. And somehow the information for which table to go to has to come from our transaction. And it does here. There's the region and the products group. Now in this particular situation, we have some table names up here, right? And notice it's not exactly the same as West and Doublers. But inside our formula, we can do a number of things. If we were going to search through this column or even search through the list of different tables, we can take West and join it to an underscore and get Doublers to match either from this list or over here. We also, since it's table one, table two, we can't type in anything, so we're going to use a wild card. Now we're going to see three different methods. And we're going to start, the, the question asked about the choose function. Well, let's think about this. The choose function, choose is great because if we can give it an index number, the number 1 all the way to 36, we can just list all 36 tables right in our formula where it says value 1, value 2, value 3, value 4. So the trick is for choose is we need to get 1 to 36. Now how are we going to do that when we're given West and Freestyle, West and Doublers? The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to actually use the lookup function match. Match is going to need a lookup value, and we're going to have to get it from West and Freestyle. And I'm going to look through this list of tables. So I'm going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to say, hey, region, that's a relative cell reference, 4 to my left. And that's the join symbol in double quotes, underscore, and double quotes, and then join to Freestyle. Now right now, I cannot take West underscore freestyle and match it directly. But guess what? Since there's always going to be some stuff before, I'm going to use a wild card. In double quotes, asterisk means zero or more characters. End double quote, and then I'm going to join it. So that is pretty wild. From these two values, I'm going to be able to look that up comma within this entire list of tables, Control Shift down arrow, F4, comma, and the match type is going to be 0 for exact match right there, close parentheses, Control Enter, One. and double click and send it down. So I'm from this table over here getting the position. So it found the West Freestyle as the first position in this list. Over here, West Doublers, it got an 8. That means it was in the 8th position. Now, Match thinks of it as a position, but now we can put that inside of Choose. And choose is another lookup function. Again, it's just going to take that number, and I come to the end. That's the index number, 1 to 36. And now I have to list the tables 36 times. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the first couple ones here. So I'm going to highlight that. And F4, now notice it says value 1, comma, value 2. I'm going to get the second table. F4 to lock it, comma, the third table, highlight. F4 to lock it, comma, and I'm off to the fourth value. All right, now I've listed all 36 there. Now the disadvantage here is that's a lot of clicking. It also perhaps is I made an error because there's so much manual work here. The upside of this is you don't have to know how to do any special offset function or indirect function, which are two other solutions we'll see. You just get your 1 to 36, 
up in the index number, and then you just list all of your tables. Now, all choose is going to do is deliver one of these tables. If I were to enter number this Control Enter value. and double click and send it down, it's not going to show me anything because it's delivering the whole table. But let's just check this out. Let's highlight this entire choose F9. And sure enough, you see the first one, quad 8.2, quad 8.2. Carlota 13, Carlota 13. So it's delivering the right table. If I come down here to the West Bellin group, that's this one right here. So if I highlight this entire thing and F2, you can see we get Bellin 9.9%, Bellin Dancer 14.7%. So the choose function is doing its job. It's delivering the table. Now we can simply put it inside of VLOOKUP. Remember, I need to now look up the product comma. And that entire thing is just delivering a table. One, two, it's always going to be in the second column, the thing I'm going and getting and bringing back to the cell. So I comma two, that's the column with the discount, comma. And then I'm going to use zero for exact match, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. Wow, that's a pretty wild formula looking up from 36 different tables. Now, we can take a slightly different approach here. One way we can think about this is, notice we could actually look through this entire range, do our approximate match with our asterisk and our underscore, and find the position of either West Freestyle or West Bellin group. We could use that position in the offset function to then go and get the right table for each product. So let's look at the offset function. The reference, that's the starting position. We're always going to start right in A7, so I'm going to lock it with F4. Then I need to know how many rows from that starting position to go down, and then this is where we use match. Double quotes, asterisk, double quotes, join it to R region, and double quotes, underscore, double quotes, and join it to our product group. There's our lookup value, comma, the lookup array. Highlight, and watch this. I'm scrolling down, and I'm going to click on the very last possible range right here. But I'm going to hold Shift before I click there. So now I've highlighted all the way down, F4 to lock it. Now I have that whole range comma, zero for exact match, close parentheses. So right now, we have our starting position and the number of rows to go down. You think about this, West Freestyle, since match is going to find it as the first position, that cell right there is the starting position, but it will force us to go down one. That will be the starting position, comma, and then columns. That's from the starting position, how many columns to the right or the left. We don't want to go any. We're in the correct column, so I'm going to leave it empty. The height is always going to be 4. And in fact, this is set up. There's some that are 3, some that are 4. So 4 will work. Comma, the width is always going to be 2. Close parentheses. And now, um, let's just enter this. Number Control Enter. Value. We're going to get exactly the same value. Because guess what? It's doing something similar to choose, but now it's using offset to define a variable range. So if I hit F9, of course it's going to find quad 8.2, Carlota 3.7. And those, there's those two zeros at the end, which will not hurt us in this case. Later, when there's a table that's got four products, it will show the product names. Escape, and if I come down to the West Bellin group, highlight F9, you can see we get our Bellin 9.9, .9, Bellin Dancer 14.7 right there. If I look at if I look at the West Sunshine group, I can see down here that's 4, so West Sunshine group. If I highlight this offset and F9, you can see the last two items, Sunspot and 5.9, are not 0, 0. It picks up that fourth item. Now we can simply use offset inside of VLOOKUP. I'm going to select the product, comma, there's the whole table delivered by offset, comma, 2, comma, 0, close parentheses, Control zero Enter, one, three. double click and send it down. Now, you know, anytime I do something like this, I always like to check. Watch this. I'm going to say equals, hey, are you equal to this one? Control Enter, 
double click and send it down. Now, I don't want to check this manually. Now I'm going to simply do a quick count ifs up here and highlight the entire range. Control Shift, Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma, and then false, which is neither text nor number. It's its own value. I simply put false in as the criteria to see if there are, are any falses, nope. like the two formulas were different. And it looks like I didn't get any. All right, that was a good check there. Control Shift, Down Arrow, Delete. Now, there's another way we can do this, too. If I were to, instead of highlight each range like I did in Choose there, if I went ahead and used the Defined Name feature, I could name this range West underscore Freestyle and this range West underscore Belling Group. Then I could use the Indirect function to take the Region underscore and Freestyle to look up, in essence, that defined name. So watch this. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to uh, highlight this in Control-C, Escape. And then I'm going to highlight, click up in the name box, Control-V, and Enter. So now, if I highlight that, you can see, sure enough, it's West Freestyle. Now I'm going to have to do that for each one of these, Control-C, Escape. Click up here, Control-V, Enter. I'll do it for the first three here. I'm going to highlight this, come up to the name box, Control V, and Enter. Now, I've already done the other 33, so here they all are, East Doublers. And you can see, sure enough, there's the East Doubler. The East MTA, the East Freestyle, that's a three-row group. All right, now check this out. I almost think I like this solution the best. I'm going to create that. Define name, in essence, from the transactional information. So I got the region, ampersand, double quote, underscore, double quote, ampersand, and I'm going to join it. Now, when I enter this and double click and send it down, that actually is text. So if I put this into a formula, expecting the formula to see it as a reference, it won't work. But guess what? There's a function called indirect, and that's all indirect does is take some text that represents a reference, remember that's a defined name, and converts it from text into the reference, or in our case, defined names. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. We're going to get the same exact value error, but I can highlight this in F9. And sure enough, there's the first table there, Escape. If I come down here, this is the West Bellin Group. So I highlight this, F9. And sure enough, it got the right table there. Again, we're using the indirect function, some text, and we've already defined the defined names. Now I can simply put this inside of VLOOKUP. I'm looking up the product, comma. That whole table from indirect will work inside of our VLOOKUP, comma, 2, comma, 0, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. Equals are you equal to True. that? Double click, send it down. I'm checking here equals count ifs. Arrow, arrow, control, shift, down arrow, control, backspace, comma, false. Control, zero. enter, I got a 0. So it looks like 1. We can use choose match with a wild card and an underscore there and a bunch of tables inside of our VLOOKUP. We're, in essence, looking up one of the 36 tables. Over here, we used offset to define a different table each time. We had a starting position. We went down a certain number of rows and had a table defined as four rows, two columns. And finally, we used define names and the indirect function to get from our transactional information, West and Freestyle, deliver the define name to VLOOKUP. Wow, that's a lot of fun with looking up from 36 different tables. We'll see you next trick.